getting comfortable with money. Here's a, a little question for me. Let me actually go back. Here's what I want you to do right now. I want everyone who has their wallet on them right now. All right. Take out your wallet. I'm not going to ask you to, to buy something yet. But take out your wallet. And I want you to count how much money you have on you right now. I want you to do it, all of you. And if you don't have your wallet, just by memory. How much money do you have on you right now? Anyone want to share? Yes. Just yell it out. You got your credit card? Okay. All right. How much cash? Shakir, how much cash you got? How much? US? $2,500. So do you normally carry around about $2,500? Truthfully, do you? Just in case. (laughs) Okay. So he walks around with two and a half grand in his wallet. Anyone else? Yes, over here. 300 US dollars. Anyone else want to share? Yes. $4. Okay, back there. $52. All right. Now what I want you to do is I want you to write down what do you normally carry around in your in your wallet? Is it $50? Is it $100? What's your normal amount that you carry around? The reason why I want you to do this is, again, it all relates back to our financial terms that we all have a certain comfort level carrying around money with us. For some of us, walking around with $2,500 in our wallet would make us very uncomfortable. Be completely honest with me. Who would feel a little bit uncomfortable carrying around $2,500 cash in their wallet or in their pocket? Now, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Tell me why. I want you to tell me why. Shout out and just be completely honest. Why? Safety. Safety, yeah. I mean, someone could could come and mug you, right? Someone could come into this room and target you specifically and come and grab that money out of your wallet during the seminar. Why else? You might spend it. You don't trust yourself to hold that amount of money. It's like if the money's there, you you got to go and spend it. Why else? Too bulky for your wallet. I mean, two and a half thousand dollars in cash is not that bulky. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yes. You would be afraid to wear a Rolex worth. Who would be afraid to wear a watch worth over a hundred thousand dollars? You know, just a few years ago, I would have been afraid to do that too. And my mom always says to me, when 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 I showed her this watch, this watch here, she she almost had a heart attack. You want to be very, very careful. Someone might come and knock you over the head and take that watch from you. That's what she'd say. She'd say, be careful traveling to all these countries. You know, they, they might steal your, your watch. <laughs> so we all have a very different uh, level of comfort when it comes to money. What amount would it take for you to be uncomfortable carrying in your wallet right now? What amount would you be uncomfortable with? For some of you, it's going to be $100. For some of you, it's going to be $500. For some of you back there, it might be $2,500. Some people might walk around with $10,000 in their wallet. Again, all comes back to financial thermostats. I remember in December 2012, I decided that I was going to do the biggest affiliate contest within Moab history. I thought to myself, I want to have a record month. I want to finish 2012 strong. So this is my office in Perth, Australia. And... Um, I remember going to the bank, and the bank was literally about a one-minute walk away from the office. And I decided that I was going to offer $50,000 cash in prices to whoever could make the most sales of a $2,000 product. And the contest would go for two weeks, okay? And I said, I said in this video, I said, I've got $50,000 cash here. I'm going to be giving it all the way in two weeks for whoever can make the most sales. Now, when I went down to the bank, again, it was a minute walk away, and I walked into the bank and I said, I want to take $50,000 cash out. I've got to be honest with you, I was paranoid. You know, I was looking to my right, to my left, making sure no one was listening. And uh, they said, actually told me, uh, you can't do that. You've, you've got to give us notice and come back tomorrow. I thought, okay, can't even get my own money out. But I, I went back the next day. And I told them, put it in fives and tens and twenties. I want it to look as impressive as possible for the video. And I went back to my office. And here's the thing. I remember walking from the bank to my office, less than a minute away. 
and just being completely paranoid. I was looking out for cars that looked suspicious, anyone watching. And I even had, uh, I'm ashamed to admit this, I even had a little butter knife. I don't know what I was going to do with it. Just in case anyone was watching and they were planning to rob me. So this, this was a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Who would be uncomfortable walking around with $50,000 cash? Most people would. What's the largest amount of cash you've ever walked around with, even for a short amount of time? Who'd like to share? Largest amount you've ever held in your possession cash? $10,000. Did you feel uncomfortable with that? Very. Constantly looking around. Anyone else? Yeah, Steve. 350000 Would that make most people uncomfortable? Now, would, would you consider there's certain people who would be comfortable with that? Who do you think might be comfortable with that? Billionaires? Donald Trump, maybe? Anyone else? What's the largest amount of cash you've ever carried around? Yes. $30,000. I want you to really think about whatever that amount is for you, how did you feel carrying around that amount of money? For me, at this point in my life, that made me very uncomfortable. Okay? Now my beliefs around money at this point in my life have changed. So now... Now I'm okay with carrying around a much larger amount of money. Um, there have been times when I've flown from country to country where I've, I've had to carry you know, fairly large amounts of gold. Not, not that a large amount, but at least up to $10,000 in gold because maybe we're doing an event, we're giving away some or whatever I'm doing. And when I first started doing things like that, I was paranoid. When I would put my bag through that little scanner, I was paranoid they were going to take it. And these days, um, there have been times now where I carry it around and I forget I'm carrying it because it's, it's just, I'm more comfortable with it. I shouldn't be telling you this because I have some in my bag right now, but I'm, I just realized I'm, I'm okay with it sitting back there. I feel comfortable with it. Okay, so we all have different comfort levels with it.